If you've ever been to uh, BNI training on one-to-ones, you'll know that one of the questions they teach you to ask during a one-to-one -one is, so what do you do when you're not doing what you do? Um, for example, it might be, what do you do when you're not joining? Or what do you do when you're not accounting? Or what do you do when you're not soliciting? Actually, that sounds wrong. Um, <laughs> the idea is that you get to know the person better by finding out what they're into. You get to like them, you get to trust them. It's the whole know, like and trust thing. That way you get more referrals. Uh, I did an education slot on that a couple of months ago. And that's all fine, we all understand that. However, what if you turned it the other way around? And rather than asking people in business, what do you do when you're not doing, if you ask people in your social circle, what do you do when you're not doing what you do socially? Now, I don't mean people that you've just met or people that you sort of sort of know, because one of the first questions you ask people when you meet them is, oh, what do you do? Even Prince Charles has got that one down when he's walking down the line. So what do you do? Um, I'm talking about people you've known a very long time. It could be people that you, you play pool with, people that you went to school with, people that you've got on your Facebook that you've been friends with for years. You actually know what they do. I'll give you, for example, um, a couple of weeks ago, I went on a lads weekend in Bradford and Leeds. I say lads, I mean nerds. It's a load of Transformers fans where we meet up once a year. In even years, it's up north, and in uh, uneven years, it's down south, so that people from London can go, because they won't go north of Watford. Now, we were in Bradford, and then we went to Leeds on this drunken night out, and we were in the Lego shop, as you do, because as I said, we combine, <laughs> we combine toys with beer. They sell beer in the Lego shop. <laughs> to be honest, I start to get the shakes when I leave the pub and go to the toy shop, and I want to get back to the pub as quickly as possible. But anyway, we were in the Lego shop looking at this Lego Millennium Falcon. I don't know if any of you have seen it. It's about this big. It's 650 quid, and I really want one. But apparently, we've got no room for it in the house. That's a discussion for another time. Now, I was looking at this Lego Millennium Falcon, and one of the nerds stood next to me, who I've known since he was about 14 when he joined my website back in 2000, which does lead to some strange nicknames some of the nerds call me, but we won't go into that either. I've known this kid <coughs> since he was 14. He's now a, a fully grown adult man. And he was looking at it, and he said, yeah, so uh, I'm in the new Solo movie. For those who don't know what that is, the Solo movie is the new Star Wars film, which is a spin-off from the original trilogy, and it's a prequel about the Han Solo, the Harrison Ford character. And he said, yeah, so I'm in the new Solo movie, and I said, what? And he went, yeah, yeah I'm, in, I'm in the Solo movie, and I said, this went on for some time. The point being, he is in the new Han Solo movie as an Imperial officer. It's not a speaking role, he's in the background somewhere. He then went on to explain to us how he's also in Wonder Woman with Chris Pine and Gal Gadot. And he never thought to tell us, because he didn't think we'd be interested. And it occurred to me that I've got these nerds who I've known for decades, some of them, since they were like little kids. And they're all fully grown adults with like jobs and careers of their own. And I don't really know what they do. So when I go to the Transformers convention in August, you're all welcome to come. If you're into plastic robots and beer, it's perfect. When I go to the Transformers convention, I'm going to be asking them, what do you do when you're not playing with plastic robots? And who do you do it for? Now, what I would like you guys to do this week, in your social circles, people you've known a very long time, friends you've got on Facebook, friends from school, maybe it could be the spouses of your siblings who you tolerate at convention, tolerate at family gatherings but don't actually talk to them that much, ask them, what do you do when you're not playing with plastic robots and who do you do it for? You can change the plastic robots part to suit the social situation that you're in because otherwise they think you were a bit weird unless you are obviously playing with plastic robots. But I guarantee if you ask five people that question this week, you will find that either they or somebody they work with and for will be the perfect referral that someone in this room has been asking for these last few weeks. Now, if you're the sort of person that doesn't put much effort into finding referrals, and you're only getting referrals when somebody walks up to you and says, do you know someone who can do my accounts? And you say, yeah. If that's you, that's perfectly fine. I'd still like you to ask this question because, and here's the kicker, here's the kicker, you might actually find that this person you've known for years or somebody that they work for is the perfect referral for you. Thank you. <laughs>